Morning, Steve the Daily Shaver. This morning I am going to experiment. Well, it's the weekend. Weekend I worry less about, you know. Now here we go. We've got some brand new a summer. Sauvignon, Baba, El Cristal, El Dilemum, and Shaving Cream. Done in a nice hard solid puck. Now, so I'll take it out. All I've done is cut the um, little tag that held it. It's a very soapy smell. It is a unique smell. So, get myself some hot water in Jacob and just drop the puck in. And I'll let that soak for a minute. Now, this morning I've decided to screw in um, the on the tech, the Persona Blade. You're going to go, why? Well, yesterday when I was shaving, I did that. But I did that with Thor. There we go. There's Thor's hammer. Now, just to do them side by side and give you an idea um, of the respective sizes. This is a regular razor. Everybody would be more than familiar at some stage, having seen someone, even their grandfather, shave with um, an old Gillette. This is the Tech, probably from the 1940s. This is Thor. Okay, the handle is brass, and it's off a Parker razor. They make fantastic handles. Um, the cap and uh, base is the 5.6, because you can flip this base back and forth um, for two different depths and the original cap and to call this Thor's hammer is a good description okay so here we go we've got, um, got our um, persona blade probably about its fifth shave now I don't have a real heavy growth this thing gave me a skin job absolutely it right down to uh, just this morning, I've only got a light layer, so I'm going to um, go and do some beard reduction, and I'm going to use a mild razor. So we go and take some of the water. Mm. As Nick would say, by the way, Nick's Nick shaves. Love his podcast. Probably amongst one of the first ones. I started watching Nick and Chris Bailey. Then I added in Buster. And now, um, um, can't remember if he went and named his channel something on. Frugal Shaver, um, which is a good description. All right, so having tipped out the water, now I'm going to use the side that hasn't got any printing on it. And... Just go grab my brush and we're going to load up. So you wait until you've got a good load. And when you think you've got a good load, get a bit more because, you know, what the heck. Don't want to skimp here. Pop that down. Wipe off all the extra because there's a fair bit. And into my bowl, and what we're trying to do is get the get this into a shaving cream leather, and that means breaking down the big bubbles to the much much micro small bubbles. It doesn't take very long, particularly with synthetic brushes. Um, so one thing I've noticed on the synthetics is uh, they don't hold on to the water, so they dry out a lot quicker. Now, I have got whopping amount, and normally I don't bother with this, but this stuff does seem to be um, very dense, um, almost to have, um, you know, the slipless and glide and components, but certainly has cushion. Um, I've, this is a big bowl <laughs> and to say there's a good proportion of it now um, 
Now I just have to be careful of this spot. I have no intentions of adding insult to injury. Anybody who saw me jump when I did that before I had to take down the video, the audio was atrocious. Come to think of it, I should have just cut out that part and included in others without audio. It's not like that I scream like a little girl. Not at all. Right, let's go and rinse my hands. Got clear my nose. Oh. Right, so Sunday morning in about oh, an hour and a half, an hour. Um, we will have the Wet Shavers Round Table, which I haven't been able to be a part of for a couple of weeks. And uh, now, uh, right, Wet Shavers Round Table, we'll get back to that. Looking forward to that. Um, this razor is a mild one. Doesn't mean it won't cut. I mean, it is. It does, but if you want a more aggressive shave, don't sell it and buy another razor. Shimming. Now shimming can be as hard as taking a pair of scissors to your current um, used razor blade and just cutting off the two sharp edges on either side. Probably about two to three mil minimum either side. And then placing it either above or below, usually below, the um, new blade. So you put in the shim, you put in the blade, put the cap on, screw. I love these Delta Echo razors. The Cerakate makes for a extremely nice um, finish. Um, rust, never going to be a problem. <laughs> Leastways, I don't think the painting will last any less time than plating. Um, I will get back to you in about 50 years time as they uncryogenically seal me uh, from the crypt. And... Uh, I'll get that off the glasses in a sec. Wow. Now, this is really good shaving cream. Well, wow, it's shaving cream now. Um, that is just... Phew. Oh, wait a second. If you're looking um, for a new vintage razor, your two choices are Razor Emporium and now Delta Echo. Um, I like the pricing of the current um, Delta Echoes. Uh, slim for a hundred bucks US. You know, um, by the time you buy a Razor and send it off to Razor Emporium and they rebirth it with plating, which I've got no complaints about that. I've got a razor that I want to get replated. My birthday razor. Um, once I sort out actually having money again. Really puts a kink in your spending, not having money. Hmm. shaving particularly this sort of shaving the joy I mean just like you've achieved something for the day before you go and do something for somebody else that they pay you for the joy of getting a nice leather the feeling on your face there's a reason why women go and have facials they feel good well now see, you can do it yourself. Well, there's much in life that's fun that you can do it yourself. 
It's always more fun when you get someone to do it with you. And that's why I think us men have turned this shaving, which is a sole activity in a bathroom, into a hobby. That and people keep showing you things you didn't know. Um, the Q Brothers in Chicago, where um, Nick's now resident in one of the hospitals. I mean, wow. The walkthrough was about 30, 35 minutes um, of their emporium. And it's, uh, what do they call it? Apothecary. And it is just amazing. Unfortunately, dear Nick, can you please talk to management and get them to ship to Australia? I had $200 worth of shaving gear um, already stacked and I go through the checkout process and discover US and Canada only. Oh, crushed. Crushed. Oh. Now, you can, the good thing about shaving with the double edge is to, these blades, which is the March Mark III, this is really good for a quick cleanup and beard reduction because it's an extremely, extremely idiot proof mild blade. Nothing wrong with idiot proof and mild blades. When you get to shave with a proper razor again, you go, I don't know why I need to. And you shave with, even this one, you shave with a proper razor and you sit there and go, I can't believe I swallowed the BS about five blades, three blades, six blades. There's areas under here particularly that uh, I'd have a shave and I'd sit there and think to myself, man, is it ever going to, um, what am I going to do to get this hair? Well, it turns out a single sharp blade um, used is capable of achieving what five or six blades now. now I'm not sure what they're up to I'm sure someone's laughing about the 50 blade offering takes your face off in one slice I mean just have a look at that now everyone if you haven't done it or if you've done it you know what I mean you get in there The slickness from this is incredible. Uh, I don't know if I bought it on watching someone else shave with it as a recommendation, or it was just cheap. And if you know me, I like cheap. Like I said, I have no trouble spending money on hardware. Uh, not such a big fan on blowing, because I've got tons of soap now, so you know, I can be a bit picky. And it'll be a while, probably need to cut out buying soaps. Yeah, no one believes me. I'll probably just go and do a huge sample order. Uh, so I can try more. Right, that's how you shave. Well, there you go. Now, I'll just check it out to see residual slickness because my last bit of beard reduction is actually best done without too much shaving cream. Why? Once you get the hairs down to micro levels of your skin, uh, multi-blade razor blades lift your skin. They lift and cut. It's just part of the process of taking multi-edged blades across your face. So the difference is DE is actually capable of getting closer, but doesn't do it by getting deeper down into the dermatological level. Don't know why, but it does. All right, really good. Just make sure I do around where it took a chunk out it's healing okay a couple of days amazing how quickly your face head and neck um, heal no doubt since we were designed to use them um, someone put some thought into making sure that oh intelligent design 
that it actually heals in time for us to stay alive. Of course, that's an evolutionary biology necessity, someone would say. But someone would always say that. Hmm. Oh, that's a nice feeling. Ah. Ah. Hmm. Well, that's waking me up. I'll just double check. It is actually pretty good, and normally I would leave it, but I've got enough to just quickly run over. That's the other thing. The amount of passes and things that you used to say, I can't do X, Y, Z. I can't go and get to the grain. I can't do this. I can't do that. Well, now that I'm back from Thailand and I've stopped eating um, a kilo of sugar a day, I can do multi-passes. I can... Um, Go against the green now. I couldn't. Um, well, your face just starts breaking out in pimples in Thailand because they stick a heap of sugar in everything. I, I stick sugar in with the honey and probably artificial sweetener just to make sure you can't touch them, um, taste whatever the hell is sitting underneath it all. Uh, that is smooth as. Well, this is the um, Osama. I think it's a, a French. Um, shaving soap and two thumbs up from me uh, it's the reason I took so long, I was one of the first soaps I got then I started getting the creams and things like exists in all these and um, I love those and it's been sitting there on top waiting for me to give it some love Again, I keep mentioning to people, Delta Echo. I see they're off, um, sold out. Then they get another bunch because obviously they've got to collect however they've organised it to collect the um, vintage stuff. And it takes a while for them to go through and uh, refurb it all. Okay. There is still... In fact, if I put a little bit of water in, I'm going to quickly go like that. And probably build up enough leather for another shape. Now I'm not going to um, keep it like a, it's not an experiment. Oh, heck, trying to get all the leather out of here is a bit of fun. So, you know, try to clean out your bowl. Okay, so. What I'm su not surprised at, but interested to see is... The fact that it is actually a remarkably dense cream. Um, and it peaks. Like people like to show you it peaking. The fact it holds its shape. Now, that is a good shaving cream. Plenty of slickness. Plenty of... Um, might as well do something with it. Wash your hands. Um... Plenty of slickness, plenty of cushion, uh, which is really surprising. I didn't know that you could get that um, out of a hard puck. Uh, the contents of that, of whatever's in it, is on the side. And if I just wash my hands, I'll have a quick look. It's not very expensive, you know, um, and a single one of these, I reckon, would keep a new shaver going for some time. Uh, the big print giveth, the small print just gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And my glasses, if they get me thicker. Anyway. You know, I, ingredients. Uh, aqua water. It's got some alum in it. <clears throat> How do I explain? It's got alum in it. Hmm. Okay. Um, I can't even read half of those. Even if I could... It's got a whole bunch of extracts and seed oils, rosemary, leaf extract, um, all good stuff. Highly recommend it. Um, I'm thinking this might go in my travel pack as a travel hard soap because the amount you get off it, it barely made a dent in the puck. Very happy. Actually, 
On that side you can see the writing I actually loaded up from the back side so I didn't get rid of the nice writing. In fact I'm just going to just give it a wipe, back to new, take it and I'm just going to dry it out. I'm Steve your Daily Shaver. Remember, good food, good friends, good shades, amen. And while well, it's nice to be important, it's far more important to be nice. Good shades everybody, have a great weekend and goodbye.